Hello, so here's another video review uh, from Watch It All About. This time we're looking at the Christopher Ward C60 Trident. Uh, it's their, uh, their, their most popular watch and it's uh, their most popular diver uh, watch as well. So we'll be uh, taking a look through uh, different aspects of it to see uh, if it's uh, a decent watch for the money. Uh, so first of all, take it off. You're uh, presented with a, a nice flat but slightly raised uh, sapphire crystal. Apparently it's four millimeter thick and it has a single layer of anti-reflective coating on the underside. I don't find the anti-reflective coating too uh, effective. Uh, you uh, can still see quite a lot of reflections. Uh, I'll give you an example just there like that. Uh, it's not quite as good as what's on the uh, uh, Christopher Ward C11. That's a much uh, better crystal and uh, coating, but it's still uh, fairly effective, but but not as um, not not perfect. Um, so if I come a bit closer as well, you'll see the dial has a, a lovely wave uh, texture to it, uh, very uh, similar to the Omega Seamaster. Uh, it's absolutely absolutely flawless, and it gives uh, the dial a nice bit of extra depth, especially coupled with the, the raised hour markers uh, and also the date window, which we'll look at closer later on when I put the macro lens on. So all of the hour markers are loomed uh, and uh, they have, uh, they're, they're applied as well. And they have a little uh, st uh, polished stainless steel surround to them, uh, which is a nice finish and uh, it matches the um, the hands as well. These hands are a little bit different to usual. We'll have a, you'll notice we've got an onion hour hand uh, and, a, and a big thick sword minute hand and then the second hand has a nice um, red tip to it and also is in the shape of a trident which is pretty cool. The, the counterbalance has the, the three, uh, three points there. The printing on the dial is absolutely flawless as well. Uh, it has a nice um, minute track and these little tiny pips here every five minutes, they're loomed as well. The loom on the face isn't the best. It takes a while to charge and when it does it isn't particularly strong. Um, but it is there, but it's not as, as good as some um, equivalents, for instance, the, the, the loom that Steinhardt use. It's not as strong as that. So uh, the bezel... Uh, has a nice grip around the edge, very well finished. It's not sharp or anything, but it gives you enough uh, for a decent grip. Uh, and then we have a, uh, a triangle at 12 with a loom pip in it as well. Uh, again, very, very well finished and well done. With this uh, markings around the first 15 minutes and then every 10 minutes the number. Uh, the font is, is nice as well, uh, matches the style of the watch. Uh, so looking at the case, we'll see that the sides are brushed, both sides are brushed, and then the, the top of the, the actual case itself is polished, and then the bottom is polished as well, uh, as well as the case back. The case back it has quite shallow um, etching, this uh, Trident logo, uh, and it says Swiss made, and then your serial number uh, as well. Uh, so it could be a little bit deeper, but but it is a nice design uh, and it, it looks looks good enough. Uh, the the case itself is, is very well machined as you'd expect. It's absolutely flawless and no sharp edges or anything. Uh, and the crown has a Christopher Ward logo on the end. It's polished at the end uh, and it's very easy to unscrew, which brings us onto the movement. So. Um, Chris Ford basically put in whatever they can get their hands on out of either the ETA 2824 or the Salita SW200, which are more or less exactly the same movement because Salita uh, built, uh, contracted out, were, were contracted out by ETA to make most of the 2824 movements. So the SW200 is very similar movement indeed. The only difference is it's got an extra jewel. Uh, so it, the, the movement feels nice uh, in the hand, it doesn't feel like it's going to break whenever you're winding up or adjusting the time or date. Uh, and it runs at um, eight, second, 8 ticks a second as well, 28.8k uh, 
uh, per hour. So that's nice. So when you're winding up, I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, yeah, it sounds nice. It sounds nice and feels nice. So you'll have to excuse the quality of my bracelet, but I have been wearing this watch for about a year. It's one of my favorite watches. Uh, so you'll notice there are quite a few wear marks. Unfortunately, that is the um, that that will come with with this bracelet because it's got a polished center link, and the the two end links are both brushed. So as you can see on the center link, there's quite a lot of little tiny hairline marks on there. Uh, but it's a very very good bracelet. The um, it's uh, they they've all got polished ends as well. Very high quality, just as good as a Steinhardt, which many people believe to be. Uh, uh, incredible bracelet for the price, but I uh, I believe that this is just as good. In fact, I prefer the uh, the clasp to the Steinhardt clasp. Uh, brushed with the the Chris Ford logo one. Again, you'll notice it's quite a few wear marks. These will all be very easy to polish out because they're very very tiny, but they're they're showing up worse on the camera than they are in real life. In fact, uh, but if you open it up, it's got a nice uh, elbow joint. And then you will see that the two buttons you press, push them in together and they hook into here. So if I show you that, this is how the bracelet works. So you push them in and then they lock like that. It's very st sturdy, very stable clasp. I've never ever in my whole year, I wear it most days, I've never had it pop open. So it's very good. It's really comfortable as well. So I'm definitely... Uh, pleased with the with the clasp, um, very well made. Uh, we have the a diver's extension as well, so we'll just pop that open like that, if you need it, but most people probably won't. Just click it back in. Uh, so there we go. Now let me pop the macro lens on, and we'll have a look at it in closer detail. So looking at the dial, this is oh, a bit exposure. Give me a second. Let me just move the camera. That's better. Okay. So looking at the dial, this is where the trident really stands apart. You'll notice the wave pattern is just flawless and stunning as well. And the hour markers are flawless as well. All the printing. It's lovely. I love the date window. They've gone to uh, extraordinary lengths with this because they could just have a, a square literally punched out of the dial, but they've made this beautiful um, uh, polished uh, frame for it. And it's really, really completely flawless again, like everything else and just looks really nice on the dial because everything catches the light at the same time and it looks great. You'll notice we've got the red tip there on the second hand. That's the minute hand. And the onion hour hand. And if we look, take a quick look at the crown as well. The uh, the bracelet fits really snug up to the case. Very well made. Swiss made it. Oh yeah, looks good. And let's just have a look at the bracelet as well. So that's the. It's quite deep etching actually on the bracelet, which is good. Much better than the case back. Have a look on the inside if we can. These are the two buttons, and this is the button. Polish button. And I need 
press them. Oh, I'm just trying to get that one out. And move in. And then just a quick look at the uh, case back as well. So you'll notice it could be a little bit deeper. Okay, so all in all, I personally think it's one of the best high quality divers you can get below 500 pounds. Just get that in focus. I absolutely love it. I've had it for over a year now, and still, every time I look at it, I just think, wow, oh, it's so good looking. They've just got everything right. I know that some people have a bit of an issue with the date at four, but I like it. I think it's a little bit different, and the date window is, is just really nice. So I, I, think it's a, I think it's great having it at four, being a little bit different. It's not a direct homage to the, the Rolex Submariner, but it is very similar. Uh, in certain aspects so I like the fact that it's a, a little bit different uh, but it, it's gorgeous in its own right so I would highly recommend it um, comparing it to the Steinhardt equivalent the ocean range uh, I think it, it's a little bit nicer it's not quite as well finished or polished but I do think it's a, it's a nicer watch all in all so uh, there we go have a look, quick look at it on the wrist So, yeah. Okay, so that's what it's all about.